Hi, this is Eric Martin with Working Geek. I'm here with Dan Kazmaier from Steeped Games looking hey. at Chai. A uh, very nice looking game. I did not expect yeah. this type of component when oh, thanks. we look on here. This is this is very, very elaborate. Uh, maybe you can talk about what we're doing. Or sure. we're just specializing in making Chai? Yeah, uh, I guess nice. Chai means tea in many languages. So it uh, plays one to five as a family game. Each player is a tea merchant, so we have Roibus or Roibosh, if you're from South Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, white tea, black tea, green, and oolong. Okay. Different possibilities. So we are trying to specialize in a certain type of tea, or is this more for flavor? Yeah, I guess you have your own uh, speciality, mm -hmm. but you are um, completing different customers. So I guess we have uh, Rodney over here from Canada. He needs a, <laughs> a honey, two lemons, and a black tea. That sounds like Rodney. Yes. He okay. said uh, he enjoys that kind. So if you're the black player, you would just add a black tea token to that, plus those ingredients. Um, and you would complete that. But if you were a different player, you would have to play the black tea house $1. And then you could complete that card. OK. So you are, have the freedom to use any type of tea. And you're Correct. trying to satisfy these customers or yes. potential people with, with what they want. What's the nature of the game? What's the flow of a turn? Yeah, for, uh, right, pretty straightforward. So you can do one of three things on your turn before you fulfill an order. You could go to the market. So yeah. you have these chunky tiles. Uh, there's berries, lavender, mint, ginger. Uh, jasmine. So anything that connects orthogonally, so vertically or horizontally, you would get for the same price. First column is a dollar, next two columns are two dollars, and the last three are three. Uh, so let's see. Uh, Rodney, so, wait, so you're saying it connects for the same price? They do, yeah. So let's so say. Like this is in the two columns, so I could get. Correct. All These of this? three lavender would actually be three dollars because it would go into the three dollar category. Okay, but I get all three of them. Correct. For that. Okay. Um, Rodney needs two lemons, so if we got this one jasmine for a dollar, everything's going to slide down, and now we have two lemons for three dollars. Okay. So you could pick all those up. Uh, money is victory points as well, so you don't want to spend too much. But we would just add those to our tea house, uh, and that would be our turn. We could then fulfill a card. Unfortunately, we don't have the honey, so that would be the second thing you could do on your turn. You would just simply go to the pantry, which is in the back of your tea house, and grab three items. So in that case, I would grab the honey, maybe some sugar or chai spices for later. That's right. Add them to the bottom. Uh, you could also do blind draws from the bag or pay a dollar to reset it. Okay. So these are options available to you. Go to the market, buy yep. something, and you can buy as much as you want? As much as you want. Okay. Second thing possible, go here and pick up some other accents. Yep. And then Additions. the last thing you could do is just reserve a new customer. So all these are just milling about in the town, and you would add them into your house. So you could hold up to three. Uh, when you reserve a new customer, you can do a special ability. So those are just in the middle, and they'll refresh each round. So you could like swap some tiles. You could um, have a free buying action movement in the market. You could um, complete Rodney's card minus the honey with that ability. So yeah, different options. OK. Uh, what's with the cups up top? We've got some yeah. markers here. Great. Is so that to uh, drink at the end? You totally could. <laughs> uh, it's probably not FDA approved, but uh, in Canada, you could use it, I'm sure. That's right. <laughs> they don't care about the FDA in Canada. Yeah. That's right. Uh, yeah, they're kind of terracotta. They're a little bit squishy, made of silicone. Um, you could totally use it for tea, but at In the game terms, right? At the end of your round or your turn, rather, you would um, complete an order if you can. So for Rani, he needs the honey, two lemons, and the black mm -hmm. tea. So we would pick one of these cups that we think um, has the highest tip, kind of the uh, choice of illusion, if you will. Yeah. So let's pick the middle one, and tip's going to be a dollar. Uh, maximum is three. So you okay. collect the tip. Once all of those tips are flipped, uh, the round is over. The game's going to be five rounds, so you just bump up a little thermometer tracker. OK. Yeah, so now we're and at. And then reset the tip, shuffle them around. And, totally, and yeah. And do it, keep, can, keep going. Um, you're going to then add a new ability card in the next round. Uh, so that one would give us a free pantry item. And we would reset the first column, just to keep the market fresh. OK. All right. And then so we're going to have those five deliveries or five servings yeah. in a round for five rounds, and then that's the game. That would be the game. Yeah, okay. we would make sure everyone has the same number of turns, and then we would count victory points listed on the cards that are complete plus money. Okay. And that's it.
Yeah. Okay, seems fairly straightforward. What's the player count? Uh, once at five, we have some ways you can play solo or co-op, and it's 10 minutes per player. Okay. And again, you said uh, Kickstarter fulfillments in May? Uh, right now, it's fulfilling. So then, uh, this week, and, and then May 20th will be retail. All right. Thank you very much, Dan. Yeah. A review of Chai from Steeped Games. Now, this publisher name clearly has some hints of what you were focusing on. You also have uh, Chai for Two. Uh, yes, that'll be on Kickstarter in a few weeks. And we'll keep making different games that are like fun and family food related. OK. Uh, maybe you can give a brief overview of Chai for Two. What is different uh, sure. from that that would not totally. be the same gameplay um, here? That one has dice worker placement. So you're rolling dice. And instead of a tea house, you own a tea plantation. So you're trying to harvest different kinds of tea, um, push them up your track, kind of a pick up and deliver mechanic as well. And you're getting them onto tea clippers instead of customers. So it's the 1880s, roughly. All right. Um, you're completing either three, four, or five, so you can change the length of the gameplay based if you have you know, 30 minutes after dinner or maybe an hour. OK. All right. Thank you very much for the overview. And there you go. Chai from Steve Games. Dan, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.